we're going to struggle. So um, when I came in, I said, you know, I felt really good. And, and we, we knew that the car was going to be good. I knew the car was going to be good. The team knew the car was going to be good. It didn't matter what our practice time was. I don't think a lot of people got a clean lap in practice. I didn't get a good lap. And um, we didn't really change anything on the car. I knew the car was quick, and the team knew the car was quick. So, you know, I went out there and, and put down a great lap. It felt like I got a lot out of it. And, you know, that was... It was one of the very few times I felt, you know, that's that's all I really had for that run. Um, so I hope we're close enough, and it ended up being great. Um, you know, going into the, the the second round of qualifying, I probably was mentally not in the right state. It actually, I probably got too excited for being D1 um, and thought, you know, hey, let's just get into the fast six. Let's try and not run so many uh, laps on the next set of red tires so we can save them for the race and just do a, a good enough lap to get in, and then we'll go for pole. In the fact six, um, and we ended up missing it by that much. And I think if you ever drop your mental focus, you know, regardless of how quick you are, even Will, you know, Will, Will is not going to do that. He's going to be running hard every time. And I think probably that's where I messed up. I just thought we were a little too comfortable heading into that next set, and just didn't get enough out of it. You got to have every bit. You know, if it's half a ten, it's half a ten. I'm sorry, you lose out. And so um, I think it just shows how. How, uh, how perfect you got to be in the series and how much you got to get out of the car. So it's a learning process for me. Uh, Joseph, you were out there in your Honda against Chevy drivers as well. Do you notice any difference in power application or how they accelerate better or worse? Do you have any advantages that you notice with Honda versus Chevy coming on the straightaways or, or off the mid speed corners? Uh, there's definitely differences. There's there's definitely differences between the two, but um, you know I think tomorrow is a good day to be a Honda. Um, you know, whatever Chevy's done that they've had to change their whole fleet, you know, that's, maybe it's a tactic they've, they've run and they found out that, you know, they built too weak of an engine. I don't know. And that's, that's all part of the game. You've got your, you've got your challenges and you've got your rules that you have to follow and, and um, you've got the parameters that you've got to build an engine in. And I think Honda's doing a great job. They're right there in the hunt. You know, we're not far behind. Um, um, you know, we're not scraping for a lot of time. And, um, I think they've just done a phenomenal job. They've been really easy to work with, really helpful with what we need to do. And it's a long year. We just started, and I think you know, in the long haul, they're going to do a great job for us. And I couldn't be more proud to be associated with them. So I think tomorrow, um, you know, we're going to try and stick it to the Chevys and, and put it on up top for the first time this year. Mary, um, Joseph, in maybe like Sarah you didn't have to really save fuel, and now you're going to be possibly in <coughs> the situation tomorrow. The other drivers were saying it could be two or three. Pits up. Is that hard for you to change, you know, that mentality of going full or versus <laughs> having to reach a certain fuel number? It hasn't been too bad, but it's definitely been different. Like you said, I've never done it, and, um, you know, kind of like pit stops, I never had that before either. So uh, that's all part of that learning curve as well, you know, learning the drivers, learning how to save fuel. And it's not been too bad for me. It's, it's definitely a little different. I think this car is a little harder to save fuel in than the previous car, from what I've understood from some of the other drivers. Um, definitely produces more drag, um, so it's a little bit more difficult to try and save fuel with, while keeping quick in the race. And, um, you know, I'm, I don't think I'm getting better at it. I haven't had to do too much yet for the year, so um, you know, probably tomorrow will be the first time that I, I really have to put that into effect. So we'll see. We'll see how I do with it. You know, there's not been much time to practice it, and that's really the thing. You know, each race I'm learning each weekend. So um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I, I really need to finish this race. Regardless if it's in the top five or in the top ten or wherever I finish, it's just important to finish race the, the race and, and get mileage and um, make sure I'm learning all those things each race weekend. So um, it's a good point, though. I think tomorrow that will come into play with a lot of the guys. We'll go ahead and take our last question from Don. You know, uh, before you arrived, uh, Dario was asked if he had any concerns starting with a, a rookie alongside him. He said absolutely not, that he felt you were perfectly qualified to be there. Um, you know, coming from a guy like Dario Franchi, who's been there and done that, that's got to that's make you feel good going into the race. And he trusts you, and uh, he'll give you room, and I'm sure he'll give him room, so it should be kind of an interesting race. It's weird. It's going to be weird. I remember when I, I first hit the track at St. Pete, and it was kind of the first time um, I was behind, you know, other cars, really. And I, I, saw, uh, I saw Dixon in front of me, and, you know, just having him be a, a target car, it was, it was weird. You know, you, you're out there running on, you know, a track, and you, you're out there running with the big guys that you've been watching for years, and um, it's been really weird. But 
Um, you know, I think a guy like Dario, he's another guy that I never even mentioned before that's been really nice to me as well. We've talked in, or, or talked over the, the winter before I even came into the series. I, you know, I talked to him about my decision to, to join Sarah Fisher Harbor Racing, and um, he's given me great advice, and you know, he's been a good friend to me as well. So I, I feel comfortable running with him. He's he's obviously a phenomenal driver, and I'm sure he's going to show me the, the the right amount of respect out there. So uh, it's going to be important for me to race and clean as well. And, and again, just try and have a, a good race together and not get tangled up in anything. Well, Joseph, thank you so much for taking the time to today to join us. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks for sticking around.